So my focus is going to be now on developing my third chakra, my willpower, because that's so through which we are um, manipulated and it's a pattern that started in childhood. Because their parents inflicted their will upon the children. So also mental mind disturbances, they actually distort the third chakra. So we're going to be going through exercises we can do to clear it. See that? So let's say you take in the red light on the earth and you take in the flame of St. Germain. It's a violet flame. So, red from the earth, St. Germain's Violet Flame of Transformation. And you breathe it in, and you circulate it through your body. So visualize through your feet, through the root chakra, red from the earth. And then... Inhale through the crown, the purple, the violet flame of transformation. And mix these in your heart space. Mix these in your heart. It's going to be a natural result of having drawn the colors into your heart. So as you breathe, in and out. The heart becomes the intersection. <laughs> and you mix that color in there. But then you break it down, you make it smaller, and then you zap it right into the third chakra. Yeah. So once you've mixed enough color in your heart, then you intentfully Take that masculine and feminine mix of the divine father and mother, the intended God and the goddess as she resides in the planet, the true um, way of following nature is to recognize nature has given you your life. So if you can't handle that, uh, I, uh, I feel sorry for you. So anyway, if you have any sort of mental mind disturbance or resistance to that, acknowledge it, but don't let that uh, keep you away from your, what, what, thy will. So yes, it allows you to get in touch with the goddess and God so that thy will and divine will are one. But it also equals personal freedom which is why it's used in, in, a, in an enslavement system. All right, think harvesting um, the, the dew from uh, aphids. That's what ants will do. An, ants will trap, trap aphids on a plant and then stroke them and provoke them so that they, they leave out honeydew. <laughs> and then they suck it so the aphids never get wings and fly away. So this is another subject. We'll go into that later. This has to do with how you get mental mind disturbances in the first place. It's sort of like a neural hack in the back of the head. So that, you know, your perception is, is, is uh, manipulated to serve the distorted dark reality, not the beautiful world to come. So your will, your third will, your third chakra of power uh, will, comes more alive when you, um, oh, this is shungite in my, in my fingernails, shungite, um, will allow you to live the life as God and goddess and you intended, the way you intended it in the first place. <laughs> You've got the power. So, once, let, let's go back to the exercise. 
So you're taking in the light. Saint Germain's Violet Flame. And you're taking in the light of the Goddess Earth, or if you want to just say red, motherly, divine female, which, you know, she there is blood after all from the, the women of the planet. And we are her children, so as above, so below. <laughs> and she is below us. We're on Turtle Island. Hello. We're on Turtle Island. The great turtle, the mother, the great mother. So you're mixing these colors in your heart. The, she's the red and the purple comes from the masculine. Think of Jesus and golden light. Now let's see that the Christians got that right. Those are his colors. Because um, Jesus was a master too, and mastery of the purple flame. The that is transformation, baby. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's why you know people tolerate, I guess, misconstruances uh, of the past. So then what you do, okay, you've got the color, you mix it in your heart. Now you take that and you reduce the negative energy in the solar plexus by willing it to be reduced. And then because it's so small, then you then take that mixed energy and you breathe it into that collected energy in the solar plexus. Now do that. Breathing in the good. meaning the mother or father, and then exhaling and then aiming it at the solar plexus so that you remove negativity past, present, and future. Yes, all negativity past, present, and, fu pre president, present and future. <laughs> all negative <laughs> pre presence of beings. I'm not going to take responsibility for that. I, I was just being funny because of my um, misspeak. So, okay, you've done that. You're clearing the third chakra. But now you go back to your heart and you want to, in the solar plexus, and you want to fill it with golden light. Golden light. Yeah. Golden light into the solar plexus. Make it bright yellow and shiny new. Clear. Filled with golden earthly light and golden celestial light. And then you've done that with your solar plexus, okay? So now you bring golden light into your heart and then you send it out into the earth. You send it out to humanity, wishing thank you, earth, and you give love and appreciation for your life and the support you've received in those beautiful everythings, the colors, that golden earth that refilled you, fire red fuel, the gold, the earth tone, gold, the real gold color of the earth. You use what is already there in nature in your imagination. And you have filled your heart. You've filled your solar plexus. You've filled your solar plexus. Okay, now you draw that back up into your heart is what I meant. You draw that back up into your heart, however you see. And then you spread it out. So when you're using this sort of technique, this one, you always use the energy going up the spine because that's the Kundalini energy. It goes up. Okay. And this figure eight is very healthy for the humans. It's very healthy. It creates a dimensional shift within your, um, your portals of your being, which you're learning about now. So yay, congratulations. More later, okay? But that's the exercise you do. Oh, I forgot the most important part. All right, this I learned. I, I will link it in the description box. And I also had a, already been practicing something like this, which is why I found it in my journal. But this is uh, essentially what I learned. And I will, I will link that uh, Crow 777 radio episode with um, Fortune St. Germain himself. And I am going to that now include the most important part. And that is you bless 
and you bless the earth, you bless humanity, and then you say, may, may others give, may others actually receive what I have in more. And then you actually recognize it, 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 it becomes tactile. You feel it within your heart. And this is what I experienced is that I was like, wow, I have been so blessed. I have been so blessed. And you say that blessing to through your heart and you express. May others receive as much as I have when they incarnate or at, at, in their incarnations now. And whatever your words are, may other beings hear of the light. I'm not sure if I put a disclaimer in. I think I'm making it too this I'm making it too complicated. May all beings receive the generosity I have and more in love and grace. Yeah. 